Welcome to Super Tech USA. This is Mark. We're doing a speed test and review for iOS 12. We're coming from 11.4.1, which is this here, and this will be iOS 12. So excited to see which one is faster, finally. Let's get started. Now turning on. Startup test so far. Oh, iOS 12.1. Clearly. So this is on dark mode, so that's why it looks inverted. <laughs> and we have the 10s wallpaper here, but it is an iPhone 10, both iPhone 10s. All right, let's test the face ID. That was about a tie. Let me try to do it faster. iOS 12.1. Again, iOS 12.1. Try to do it as fast as I can. iOS 12 keeps winning. Still, I try to do it as fast as I can, but iOS 12 keeps winning. No, no matter what. Let's start with the native apps. Starting with phone, messages, Calendar, camera, hey, take a photo, portrait, square, pano. It's pretty fast so far. Video, oh, iOS 12 keeps winning. Settings, notification setting, a little faster iOS 12. Notice this is in a different spot, so we're gonna have to do this. Do not disturb. General settings, display and brightness, Siri. Oh, that is apparently faster on iOS 12. Of course, you get new settings here um, with uh, suggested shortcuts, and we'll go over that in a little bit. Testing the triple click to activate dark mode. For some reason, it's faster on iOS 11.4.1. .1. So that's the only thing so far that's a little faster. One more time. Yeah. Surprisingly faster in 11.4.1. .1. Maps. Let's try satellite. It might be how I'm swiping it, but yeah, it's probably how I'm swiping it. But this one seems to be uh, loading a little, just a tad bit faster on 11.4.1. .1. But again, might just be because it's hard to swipe two phones at once. Get out of 3D. Oh, now we're going to T. Well, let's try going to Santa Monica Pier. Pretty good. All right. Let's test Siri. Show me images of the 2018 Olympics. I didn't find any matching photos. That's interesting. <laughs> One phone found images, the other did not. Um, not sure what that's about. Search the web for spaghetti recipes. 
Okay, I found this on the web for spaghetti recipes. Funny, this one has an ad. I don't know why it's not showing that ad. Could be a good thing, could not. But let's try Safari again. All right, Safari one, two, three. That's York Times. Interesting. Let's try New York and Company, why not? So far, 11.4.1 is loading first. Eleven point four point one is loading first so far. Rivals, let's go shopping. I was twelve, one on that one that page. Eleven point four point one. Let's try going back. Back. One, two, three. Camera. That was a tie. Let's try Sydney. That was a tie. Let's try some images this time. Could be how I pressed it. Let's try that one more time. Hmm. Falling port four point one is winning. Let's try Sydney. Let's visit the page. That was pretty close. Bondi Beach, pretty close. Interesting. Oh, this is actually an annual update. Let's visit the website. Let's go surfing. The animation went up here first, but actually it finished loading on iOS 12 and 11.4.1 is still loading. All right, weather app. News app, iOS 12. Maybe the fast animation did it. Let's try a link, 11.4.11. Let's try another link. Tie. Let's try jump. Tie. Hmm. Less ads. <laughs> it's funny, I think there's less ads on the iOS um, 12. <laughs> Calculator. Camera. TV, I was 12. <clears throat> Alarms. Seems to me the animation's a little slower on I was 12 as for when it comes to alarms.
iTunes Store. This is a web-based app, surprisingly loaded faster on iOS 12. Yep, let's try iTunes U, iOS 12. I 11.4.1 loaded first on the featured section. That was a tie. Interesting. Okay, the new feature is worth slightly slowing down web based apps and possibly video games, which I will do at the App Store. Okay. Well, this one's not set up. That was a little unfair. Not now. Playlists. Same time. A football stadium made of old eBay. Third party apps is what we're doing right now. First on eleven point four point one. comes up 1.4.1 again this is a web paced app I expected 11.4.1 to load faster on web based app because it is more made for iOS uh, made made for iPhone 10 iOS 12 is made for 10 s let's try Pokemon go so in theory that iOS 12, that one. In theory, video games are faster to load on what they're made in. iOS 11 on iPhone 10 would be faster than iOS 12 on iPhone 10. But iOS 12, of course, would be fastest with the 10s. Two, three. The animation is actually a little different. Let's try social media, starting with Twitter. Yelp. Almost done. I was 12 one on Yelp. Instagram. LinkedIn. House 12 1. Futurama, see what loads first. Predicting 11.4.1. Um, presented by Dollar Shape Club. Club.com. Web based apps. Is your truck smart enough? Is your truck smart enough? App Switcher. Let's check the RAM memory on this. Let's go all the way back to. Calendar refreshed on iPhone 10. Settings refreshed on both. Messages refreshed on both. Let's go LinkedIn. Remember that. Messages oriented. Hulu. Remember that. Let's try eBay. Possible reload. Hulu. Oh, we already did that. And a video game. Let's try Pokemon Go. Refreshed. Possibly not. Actually, did not refresh. I mean, <laughs> actually, did not reload eBay, yep. And one more. 
App Store. Yep, remember that? Pretty good on RAM. Of course, here you have to hold to close all the programs. Here you don't. There you go. Honestly, this has been really interesting. Um, finding out which one's actually faster. I would say iOS 12 is generally faster with the new animations and um, we'll do a review on the new features which might be worth the update on but uh, iOS 12 is generally faster if you do value the web-based apps web-based apps are faster in 11.4.1 .1, which is usually expected because 11.4.1 is made for the iPhone 10 iOS 12 is made for the 10s so that usually happens every year for the new iPhones getting the faster web-based um, loading time. So yeah, no matter what, I mean, iOS 12 is, was made for speed and quality over uh, new features, but still web-based apps would still be faster on um, iPhone 10 because 11.4.1 .1 is made for iPhone 10. But I might get over it after seeing what iOS 12 can do with Siri shortcuts. But let's see what happens when we do the review for iOS 12, which includes Siri shortcuts and new features like the emoji and the new Animoji, as well as little things here and there that iOS 12 is expected to be really known for, quality over quantity. Apple's doing it right this time prioritizing quality over new features and that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll shoot you more videos on reviews thanks so much for watching again and have a good day